Spermidine. Can it help you grow younger? Does it combat the aging process? Uh, hey, I'm Joe Cannon from SupplementClarity.com and know your eyes are not playing tricks on you. I'm going to review a substance called spermidine. And if your mind wandered a little bit uh, when you saw that word, I'm just going to let the cat out of the bag. Yes, this stuff was first isolated in semen and that's where it's getting its name from. So I'm going to leave that, that part of, of this story behind right now. And I just want to delve into the anti-aging research and other disease research on this uh, compound, all right? So what is spermidine? It's classically called a polyamine. All right, what is that? Polyamines come from amino acids. As amino acids are metabolized in our body, they make different things, one of those things being something called a polyamine. Now, polyamines do a variety of things in the body, including helping our cells uh, stay healthy and, and, and reproduce, and they play a role also in how long our cells live. Since we're made of cells, hey, that may be uh, uh, something to consider for the aging process, and that's what a lot of people are thinking about. They also can combine and with DNA, and since again DNA is important to us, that could play also a role in aging and disease. Now, even though we're talking about spermidine right now, I want to throw out the idea that there's a, a bunch of different polyamines. Uh, one that I, I, I came across as I was doing the research on this was called putrescine. Don't even want to think about what that smells like. There's another one out there called cadaverine. You get, you get the drift where that was isolated from. But bottom line is there's a lot of polyamines out there. Now, how do they supposed to work? Well, if you look at the research, a lot of, a lot of scientists come down to the, this theory that that spermidine appears to increase what's called autography of the cells. In other words, they help the cells do some house cleaning and get rid of bad stuff and debris that builds up over time. And, and this does happen as we as we grow up and we grow older. Cells may not reproduce as, as, as well as they did when we were younger. Defects accumulate. And if we can get rid of that those defects, well, this could play a role in the aging process as well as various diseases. So the body's got to have a way of getting rid of that cellular debris over time, and spermidine appears to increase this autography process, helping us clean house uh, and, and get rid of the bad stuff to make room for newer cells, okay? I personally think it's much more complicated than this, but this is the, uh, the thing that a lot of scientists are coming down to. But, you know, in biology, things are sometimes much more complicated than just one single thing. But having said that, let's just roll with this and just move on. In terms of the anti-aging research on spermidine, I want you to know that, um, yes, there is some evidence that older people appear to have less spermidine than younger people. Okay, that's great. It also might have some anti uh, antioxidant effects. Okay, that's nice too. So it might mop up free radicals. That could be a good thing. But the majority of research that I uncovered was based not on humans, but on worms, fruit flies, isolated cells, yeast cells, etc. In terms of people, I can't find any research studies where they gave spermidine to people for say six months, two years, three years, whatever, and watched what happened. So in terms of helping us combat the aging process, I'm not so sure I want to see the actual human research on this. And right now as I as I speak these words, I don't see a lot of people studies out there. So uh, in terms of anti-aging, eh, I'm, I'm going to say I, I'm not buying it for right now. I want to see more research. Now I do agree that it is difficult to do an anti aging research study using people because we live for decades. And I honestly don't know if that study would ever be done, but I would like to see better anti-aging research than I see now. Um, again, I'm sure eventually that, that those studies will be published. Uh, and, and when they are, I'm going to update my, the review on my website um, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll call attention to that here as well. But for right now, I'm not buying it for anti-aging research. But we know that aging is associated with a variety of diseases. So can spermidine help some different diseases, such as cancer, diabetes? Uh, and the answer is, well, there is some evidence that, again, in, we're looking at uh, cell studies and stuff like that, and maybe some mouse studies, that it might help cancer. For instance, um, when, you, when you drip it on cancer cells, it seems to do some things and all that stuff. And, but again, where's the studies of people? Where you, you let's give spermidine to people with cancer and watch what happens. There ain't any studies on that as of yet. And as for diabetes, the same thing. You know, I, I see some some research where they'll hypothesize that spermidine reduces damage to the insulin producing, producing cells of the pancreas. Okay, that's great. Why don't we give it to diabetics and watch if it helps their diabetes or not? Again, I can't find any human evidence of that as well. So in terms of various diseases, I'm always going to ask for the human evidence. Right now, I don't see it. 
As for exercise, um, no human proof either way. Uh, what would happen if you gave it to people, give spermidine to people, and then put them on an exercise program for, say, three months? Will they get bigger, faster, stronger, whatever? I don't know. There's Again, nobody's ever looked at it yet in terms of exercise. And, and again, the same thing is true for weight loss. Can't find any study where you gave it to people to watch to see if they lose weight or not. So um, again, anybody who makes grandiose claims when it comes to any dietary self, and not just spermidine, again, you always want to ask for the human research. And one of my mottos is um, that, that, that amazing claims, they, well, they deserve amazing evidence. And, and in the case of spermidine, call it reversing disease or helping exercise, whatever, I don't see it. Okay. Now, fortunately, uh, I know there's, there's probably going to be supplements popping up of this stuff out eventually, but I want you to know that supplements are not the way uh, that, that I think you need to be looking at if you're looking to improve your spermidine uh, content. For instance, I know it's in foods. Now, here are some of the foods that are rich in spermidine. We've got soy products, lentil soup, broccoli, cauliflower, green peas, pears, beans in general, um, and, and even aged cheeses. Okay, that's great. Um, so I, I, this, I want you to know again, this is not the, these are not the only foods that contain spermidine. Um, I uncovered that it's in oranges and grapefruits, it's in grapes. Um, gee whiz, wheat germs got it as well. So these are not the only foods that have spermidine. And on my website, I even showed you how to make a, sm a spermidine smoothie as well. Take a variety of products, throw them in a blender, uh, maybe throw in some protein powder or whatever for taste and drink that. So you could actually make a spermidine smoothie if you really wanted to. But again, um, I think the foods are probably the better way to go. I do not think the supplements, and they will start showing up eventually, I don't think they're ready for prime time. And I would say when you're faced with, uh, oh, should I take this spermidine supplement? If some so-called expert is saying it's great and it's wonderful, ask for human proof. Again, amazing claims deserve amazing evidence. So right now I'm going to say uh, eat the foods. Foods are generally healthy uh, anyway, so I think you're going to get a better bang for your buck by eating the foods than isolating any single ingredient uh, in, in a supplement. So guys, I hope that helps. If you got any questions, leave a comment below. I'll be glad to help you out. And that's all I got for you right now. Have yourself a fantastic day.